all ugly looks alike to me. Ain't they the warehouse burglars? Yeah. Bad. Bad to do what they call Doc getting away. Yeah, but Boss Moan and Gumbus, we got the warehouse burglars. Now, uh, wait a minute. Let me get this straight and straight. First, you were assigned to simply find the juvenile mugger. According to Officer Bigelow, you were somehow persuaded the mugging victim, an elderly woman about my age, to act as mugging bait, which miraculously led you to the gang leader, a notorious felon, whom you then let escape, as well as the original juvenile delinquent that you were after in the first place. Now, is that it, or are you holding back the good part? Well, sir, we did catch two burglars from the other night. Which means that the Fagin you let escape is a bigger fish than we thought. Can you think of any reason why I shouldn't drop both of you from this case and suspend you for endangering the safety of an elderly citizen? About my age. I know, sir. Yes, sir. We're the only ones who know what the juvenile looks like, or the Fagan they call Doc. What a banner day for me when you first came into my life. <laughs> That's Miss Lily's idea. Yeah. You know, that Brogy's a tough cookie. He busted me when I was a juvenile. You? Yeah. Well, the only reason why he's behind that desk is he was shot to pieces in a holdup a few years ago, and he still nailed the dudes. Wow. Three of them. Oh, now, you mind a little criticism? Not if it's from you. On a bust, don't call anybody by their name. Back at the warehouse, you used Banjo's name. I just wanted him to move. Yeah, but when you said his name, they figured he knew me. Street thinking. Good. Then Fagin may try to kill Banjo. But, sir, we got to find Banjo before Fagin does. You got that. 30 years. 30 years I've been in the business. No cops ever made me. No mugshots, no prints, not even my shadow. Now, because of that little gutter rat, I can't... I think you ought to lay off the kids. That cop called Banjo by name. What do you think Banjo's really in with the cops? The street rat trusts the cops? No way. He's alone. But that cop knows him. Now, you're the contact with the kids. You find Banjo. Why? He doesn't know where we live or anything about this operation. No, nobody ever leads a cop to me again. I want Banjo. Doc, please, just let it die. Let it die. Precisely. You know, it's too bad Banjo ain't a coon. You'll notice I ain't laughing. There's no coon hunting staying back in Hazard. When you can't find the coon, you make the coon find you. Of course, I remember the last time you mixed possum and burglars, we made a bust. What you got? Well, I figured Banjo's probably gone to ground. But there's no reason for the hot rod kid to. So? So we bait the hot rod kid? Right, country thinking. Hey, that's good. <laughs> and since they changed in the paint and decals on that hot rod... We hit the speed shop. Uh-uh. You hit the speed shops. That's your territory. I'll hit the streets. That way we have two shots at it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, wow. Monopoly money. Covered with two twenties. It's, uh, my street bait. Dang, you're something else. Hey, <laughs> look. No, you? No. I'm running out of money. You're running out of money? Yeah, when I go in these stores and ask questions, I feel guilty taking up the time. So I... Enos, you bought something in every store? Just do that, but it sure mounts up. Well, you, you can't buy something in every store just because you're feeling guilty. Well, I wouldn't mind if you got us to leave. 
Well, we may have a lead. Yeah? I'm putting out the word I'm looking for a very sharp kid with a hot car to run numbers and to meet me here. Well, I'll just keep it at the speed shop. Uh. Here. What? Is a car compass. Thanks. I don't need it. Me neither. But I got three of them. Oh. How you move so good wearing all that heavy gold? Where'd you get the bread, brother? By being cool, little brother. Anybody want some of my action? Uh oh. Hey, it's cool, man. I'm looking for a very sharp kid, see? Yeah? Yeah. With hot wheels. Very hot wheels. Do a little bit of running for me, okay? Okay. Very hot wheels. Numbers? Did I say that? Very hot wheel. And I'm laying this on the brother that brings him to me. Pass the word. Wheel man. All right. Torchy's newsstand, corner of Redwood and Highland, huh? Give it to him. Now, this is Reuben, a friend of Banjo's. Reuben wants to join a gang. Right, Reuben? I see. Engineers from a... You the dude looking for the kid driver with fast wheels? You ain't him. You ain't got no license. Of course I ain't him. I'm his manager. Huh? You that good, huh? Oh, wheel man, he's the best. Wheel man. It's a good name for a driver. Is he fast? About like the speed of light on a slow day. Hmm. Hey, Pedro. Banjo. Pig. Hey, Banjo, we just want to I'm sorry, I blew it. No, no, we blew it. But we got a name. Wheel Man. Wheel Man. He couldn't have got far on foot. I wonder why he wasn't with the hot rod kid. Maybe he didn't need to ride. Because he, he lives, lives around, around here. here. Let's cruise. Spotting them is going to be pure luckiness. Well, keep looking, buddy, Rose. Wheel man! I'm busy, Reuben. Wheel man? I'm busy, Reuben. Listen, something's wrong. Doc is after Banjo. Banjo's hiding out at his place, and Doc doesn't even know anything about that. Does he? Doc promised me he'd let me in the gang. 
He just wanted to talk with Banjo. It's a hot rod. All hot rods sound alike. Not to me, they don't. Not after I've chased it twice. Back yonder. What? I've been my life on it. Hey, hey, you're getting mine! Come on, man. There it is. See, I told you. It's the wrong color. But it's the right sound. Doing, man? What's happening, wheel man? Who are you? Now listen up, fast brother. Cause I ain't gonna say it but once. Banjo is in trouble. Banjo? You the cops? And the only friends that you and Banjo got. Now the big man's out to hurt him bad. Is he the doc or us? Doc's there now. Let's roll. in the country, Banjo. The way they take kids like you to camp? Come on. Y'all hold it right there. Y'all turn the kid loose. I don't want no trouble, Mr. Fagan. Fagan? My name's not. Oh, I see. <laughs> Very droll. Where's your gun, cowboy? I left it because he's a kid. Now, please be reasonable. Of course. Kill the cowboy and hide his badge. Who could tell he was a cop? You wouldn't kill a cop now, would you? Just no, let's learn. You've got to train them when they're young. I, I hate guys like you. Please, do something stupid. Doc? Doc? Put it down, buddy. Ain't no way. Hey, Kurt! Uh, Where can one old doc get? Oh, about 
30 years, multiple burglaries. That ought to hold him. So we nail him on the uh, heavy stuff. Listen, Hart. Okay, better <laughs> Just had a call from the juvenile division saying you refused to testify as a resting officer. But, sir, I... Officer Strait, I have 27 years on the force, a degree in police science, two years of law, yet I am no match for your... <laughs> peasant cunning. Why, pray, have you refused to testify? But I haven't, sir. Me and Turk are on the way to court right now. Then you are testifying. Oh, yes, sir. Huh. Good. For the defense. Now, let me see if I understand all this. You, the arresting officers, the arresting officers have filed a request that the minor not be sent to a correctional facility. Is this request in the nature of a second chance? Uh, no, sir. A first chance. He ain't had one yet, sir. Uh, Your Honor, I don't know all that much about the law, but, but I do know it ain't fair to send Banjo to a juvenile home when, when he ain't even had a shot at living in a real one. And this petition for guardianship? That's mine, Your Honor. And, and she, was, she was a victim in the robbery, sir. Well, people do sometimes meet in the strangest ways. Yeah, yes. Uh... Having heard all parties, the court has decided not to send the minor to a juvenile detention facility, but to place him home on probation instead, with the usual conditions set forth by the probation officer. However, since he doesn't have a home, it creates a bit of a problem, which this court will solve by granting the petition for temporary guardianship. Son? Son. You're getting a very unusual chance. Make it work. Next case. Well, I don't know whether it'll work or not, but he'll be no worse off than he was. Neither will I. <laughs> what do you think, son? It beats jail. Beats jail, sir. Oh, sir. Yes, ma'am. Come on, kid. I'm going to buy you a pizza and bore you to death with tall tales of old Hollywood. Dear Daisy, I met my first movie star. They're just like us.